This is Chris at GrowQuest and I'm just noticing plant craziness here. You have two plants that couldn't be more completely opposite. You have Bougainvillea and Wisteria. Okay, really ought to be going with one or the other. And I would stay away from the Wisteria or at least not let it get into the roof line since it will literally lift up the flashing, the roof line, and grow into everything. So if you're going to grow wisteria here, keep it off the roof line or from going up into the roof line and make sure it's just hanging down. Actually, it gets even crazier. It looks like there's also a trumpet vine in here too. So. We've got Trumpet Vine, Bougainvillea, we've got the Bougain, the Trump, <laughs> you got all kinds of craziness here. you got the Bougainvillea in the shade over here, the Trumpet Vine and the Wisteria. So, you know, a little bit of planting, some symmetry in here. I don't, I would definitely get rid of the bougainvillea that's here in the shade, get rid of the trumpet vine, and just train this one branch or one plant of wisteria over to here. This area is a little really too shady for the bougainvillea. You have a beautiful flowering magnolia in here. This is the thing, there's just so much stuff packed into some landscapes you have to begin to make hard choices but definitely the bougainvillea out of there and the trumpet vine and go with the wisteria it's at least a lot easier to manage the trumpet vine if the trumpet vine takes off it's very hard to control where the runners go Wisteria is a lot easier to manage and just keep it from growing in underneath the uh, roof line here. Maybe add a support stake so that it can um, develop a really strong arm here. That is if you're going to keep it. There's just a little bit much going on to have Bougainvillea and Wisteria together.